I am always looking at vinyl prices online, and in doing so, I pretty frequently stumble across phenomenal deals. Today, I am going to share with you five records that are currently under $20 on Amazon that you should snap up today. I did not buy these albums on Amazon. Why? I already have them in my collection. But if you do not, you might want to act fast before they go out of stock or the prices go up. I've included links in the description. And yes, I do earn from qualified purchases, but they're still great deals. And I did do a little digging around to make sure that these prices are still pretty much the best ones you can find out there. First up, David Bowie's Scary Monsters Super Creeps. This copy is my copy from 1980. That means that this right here is from the album's original release year. I love this record, plus it includes some of my Bowie favorites, the song Ashes to Ashes. You can get a fairly beat up copy of this on Discogs for about 15 to 20 bucks plus shipping. Or you can hop over to Amazon and get a remastered 2017 pressing on 180 gram vinyl. I'm sure that that one sounds a little bit better than this. Yes, I did double check pricing. Like I said, on Discogs, if you have Prime and get free shipping and are in the US, Amazon is still the better deal. Next up, Velvet Underground. Originally released in 1970, my copy right here of Loaded by the Velvet Underground is from the year 2000. I paid $18 for it right around 2015 or so, and this particular pressing is currently going for no less than 25 plus shipping and tax. On Amazon, you can snap a new one up for less than $20. Loaded found the Velvet Underground entering more accessible territory with songs like Who Loves the Sun, Sweet Jane. Both of those are the album's opening tracks. One of my personal favorites, is the closer, Oh Sweet Nothing. Loaded is not as out there as The Velvet Underground and Nico, or even White Light, White Heat, both of which are phenomenal records, but it's still a true classic. I am continually shocked. In the Aeroplane, Over the Sea by Neutral Milk Hotel is still as inexpensive as it is on Amazon. It's been a hair under 15 bucks now for a few months, which is just ludicrous. I recently saw an article talking about the upcoming Elephant Six documentary covering that underground indie label's psychedelic pop beginnings and the impact that it's had over time. Both Neutral Milk Hotel and Elephant Six, which birth bands like Neutral Milk Hotel, Apples in Stereo of Montreal, and many, many, many more have true cult followings. I love this album and it's an essential for fans of indie rock. Released in 2007, Ga 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 by Spoon is a comfortable mid-career release by the underappreciated indie rock band out of Austin, Texas. My original pressing of this runs at least $30 on Discogs these days, but a brand new 2019 or 2020 reissue as of right now, about 1850. This album is truly great. You've got Don't Make Me a Target, The Ghost of You Lingers, you've got your Cherry Bomb, three powerhouse tracks, and they're the ones that just kick off the album. The greatness continues throughout. Don't You Ever, Rhythm and Soul, The Underdog. So many great songs on this album and an essential for fans of Spoon. To wrap up the list, I have the debut LP by The Shins, O oh, Inverted World. Like the indie albums on this list, both Neutral Milk Hotel and Spoon, O oh, Inverted World has become a bit of a cult classic thanks to new slang and caring is creepy. My favorite will always be Girl on the Wing. It has a great punchy rhythm and some great guitar and vocal hooks as well. My copy right here is from 2002, but the past few years it's been remastered and given an inverted 
cover art, white background with blue text and graphics. You can snag that on Amazon for a hair under $20 as well. Now, I recently covered the early work by The Shins, including this album, after the band's original bassist, Neil Langford, who played on that album, passed away last month. Dig into that video and hear why The Shins wouldn't exist if it were not for Neil Langford in this video next. I am Andy and I will see you next time.